It's the NAM show, and when we're back in familiar surroundings, here at the Anaheim Convention Center. But it's a little different this year. In addition to the grey skies and the new April dates that serve as a stepping stone from last year's rescheduled June dates towards next year's regular January slot, the ACC North Halls, that have been home to the professional audio community now for several years, has shrunk noticeably for this edition. However, that NAM vibe is positively throbbing. Following the 11-hour flight from London yesterday, my phone went into catch-up overdrive once I received my first signal beyond the construction chaos at LAX. Whilst we're flying over the Atlantic, two important acquisitions were announced. Firstly, Solid State Logic was announcing its acquisition of US-based manufacturer Harrison. Harrison, or God's Little Wonder as they used to be called, has established itself as a premium pro audio console brand for music recording, mixing, film, and television post-production since 1975. SSL CTO Enrique Perez confirmed that the synergies between Harrison's software solutions and SSL's plug-in business was one of the drivers for future hardware products and software solutions. Following two years of speculation, Bose Corporation announced the sale of their professional division to private equity firm Transon Capital Group. Assuming ownership of the Bose professional commercial installation and conferencing businesses, Portal PA Systems is part of its core consumer product business. It's a scale-back NAM with the likes of L Acoustics, JBL, Digicom, Powersoft to name but some. They're all absent this year, but many established brands are exhibiting and launching new products. It's almost three years since Yamaha rounded off their digital flagship Rivage series with the launch of the PM3 and PM5 consoles. And like all other developers, Yamaha have been thwarted in their efforts by the continued supply chain problems. So, it's good news from Anaheim, as the Japanese giant is about to unveil the DM3 digital mixer. And with the launch of the DDK4000, DPA Microphones is releasing its first drum microphone kit which includes the new 2012 compact cardioid and a 2015 wide cardioid stereo pair. As a brand of choice commonly associated with grand pianos and other instruments, it'll be interesting to see how percussionists take to this new kit. And Namsters will be able to judge the new features of the LD Systems Maui G3 column speakers being demonstrated on the Adam Hall booth. QSC are also going to be demonstrating their latest intelligent Dante networkable L-Class intelligent loudspeakers in the same hall, the AW is showcasing the features of their latest radio compact line array system. And I'm also looking forward to catching up with Neumann, who will be demonstrating their second generation KH120 Mark II monitor and first ever audio interface. The MT48 marks the first collaboration with sister company Merging Technologies. Well, the sun still hasn't come out, it's two o'clock, so we won't be heading to the beach today, but we'll be back on the show floor tomorrow to highlight some of the announcements and product launches. So don't change that dial.